Hey, we're back. A long time ago arrived the first settlers of Muni. A noble people with... Something pursuits, I forgot the line. Life, liberty, and corn. A coffee maker! Woohoo! Folio, not an item. Okay, you took this not because you wanted to make coffee, but you heard coffee machines grant you one wish. After much thought, you wished for coffee. It didn't come true. All right, I am using an entirely different recording software, and it appears to be working even worse than original, at least early on. I'm not happy about this. In the least. This is stupid. And I don't like it. And the mouse is on the screen. I'm going to have to do something about that. There's no mouse pointer visible in the game. And yet the stupid recorder recorded it. Alright, I'm going to give this ten minutes. And if the choppiness does not stop, we're going back to fraps for now. I'm using the Camtasia recorder at the moment. I did get... I did get OBS Studio, but I haven't figured out how it works just yet. So, there is that. Also, it's a pain in the butt. Because apparently you have to tell it what window to record, so the game has to already be started. And there's a crap load of games that just do not really let you tab out, alt tab out of them. If you do, they m either mess up or crash completely. So what the hell, man? Oh, why is this door locked? I don't like this door. It's locked and it's stupid. Alright. Fine. I'll find some other way. You know, I'm really thinking I'm not gonna like this. Camtasia recorder works pretty well with most things, but right now it's really not winning me any prizes. At all. All right. All right. The lag is bothersome. I may not even give it the full ten minutes I promised it. I'm going to go. Nope. This is back into the nuclear reactor, which is a dead end for the moment. Which is just as well because this my character in this game is rather stupid. And I don't particularly want him futzing about with a nuclear reactor. Seriously, especially one that is apparently a bargain basement piece of garbage. So, we will go up these stairs. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and see what's up these stairs, and then I'm going to go ahead and declare this recording software a loss. Seriously. For this game. It's worked well for many other things in past. But for this, it ain't gonna cut it. But I'm at least going to satisfy my curious. Ooh, big room. Hey, you Ted, this is a highly sensitive area. I added a new security door. No need to thank me. Can't be too careful. Bob. And. Is it... No, it's not lagging. It's clicked off cam... I mean, it was clicked off of the screen. Bob, you do realize that your new security door closes for no reason and locks people inside this very secure area? Stop being cheap and get a door that works, moron. Casually, Ted. Or, not casually, never mind. Meh. Ooh, pallet. Loading skid. That's not a skid, that's a pallet and you know it. Sounds like the door closed for no reason. You decided to pick this up because you like the direction of the grain of the wood, and it gives you splinters while holding it from every conceivable direction. Uh, instruction manual for building your own two-man submarine. Since Bob and Ted opted for the budget model, the manual is 800 pages long, mapped out in a fashion similar to a choose-your-own-adventure novel. Well, choose-your-own-adventure book. I doubt there exists a novel-length choose-your-own-adventure. Idea? No. Not. I'm kidding. Alright. There's a grating, but it doesn't do anything. Ooh, a tube. Water pipe. 
This magic water pipe grants you the power to transport water from one end of it to the other. There'll be no reason for you to do this at any point in this adventure, but you continue to carry it with you anyway. Well, that's how video games work. You just pick up everything. Hey, Ted! Just FYI, I brought the acetylene tank up to the farm for the annual staff barbecue. Completely corn-free, of course! <laughs> Bob! How many times have I told you we can't have barbecues on the farm? Put it back, you idiot. We're already weeks behind schedule. Oh, a key. Magic water pipe. Blah, 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 blah. Pudding. Key. Oh, there we go. It's a shame you don't have small hands. Or that would trump the issue. Uh, handling this key would be much easier. Looks like a key for a toolbox lock would be useful, which would be useful if you can manage to find... The fine motor skills needed to operate such a tiny thing. Alrighty then. Oh my god! Two things in one toolbox! Cheapest box cutter commercial available. Brand holds the distinction of being the only one that rendered completely useless after one use. Or after one swipe. Whatever. I swiped it already. Alright. I got me a hammer. And my face is itchy. I need to go shave again. Feels like I just shaved yesterday. Design for a loading crane. Created by Pete's Games and Carnival, the design of this loading crane appears to be based off a simple claw game, a fact which excited Bob to no end. Ted, conversely, wasn't too thrilled about it, but was stuck with it anyway after Bob forged his signature on the authorization. Why does Bob continue... Why is he allowed to continue to work here at all? Seriously, I think... His partner would have strangled his ass by now. Shut up, Vladdy. Hey, Ted! I upgraded the lifting system so two people could use it at once. Our efficiency will double! Bob, know that I don't say this lightly, but this may well be the absolute worst idea you've ever had. Idiot. Cordially, Ted. Oh, I can't go in the water. No swimming for me. <sighs> Isn't that all? Ooh, violin! Oh, cello. That's way too small to be a cello case. Way too small. Hey, Ted, need this box of knickknacks loaded. Be a pal and move it for me, would you? Bob, you sloth, I'm not your errand boy. Load it yourself. Well, it's a closed box and it's mine. Why you pick up so much garbage, idiot? does not understand. That's not a garbage, little cultureless twit. That's a Fabergé egg. And I'm probably about to destroy it, because I just got a hammer. Place fibro fly priceless Fabergé egg on workbench. Yup. For some reason you feel the urge to break something beautiful with this, instead of doing the standard task of hammering a nail. You don't know why you think these things. Smashed priceless Fabergé egg with hammer for some reason. And I got one little piece of the gold frameworking. Easily the most expensive lockpick in the world, but you really don't care because you have no idea how modern economics works. I'm dumber than the corn. Am I corn? Ooh, a night light. That's a uranium fuel rod. Alright. Okay, what vent was it talking about? I don't see a vent. I thought I saw one earlier, but now I'm confused and scared and a little around. Okay, no, I'm not. There we go. In there? Yes. Screw you, whiny. It's about time you pulled your own damn weight. <laughs> I shouldn't be enjoying this this much. This is so satisfying. <sighs> and now we're free. No, touch some more wires. Stupid idiot. Could get nowhere without Vladdy. 
everybody has to do everything. So this is the first thing you've done. You've been mostly useless till now. All you've done is insult me. And okay, you did drive some of the corn away. For reasons known only to you, you're holding a very radioactive fuel rod in your hands, ignoring every known safety procedure for proper containment and storage imaginable. Eh, works for Homer Simpson, it works for me. Get over yourself. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to get back to the reactor. And I'm going to, in between, I'm going to turn off this recording program, because it just ain't doing what it's supposed to. All right, thank you very much. I'll be back, and I'll be recording the old way with only occasional little bits of lag rather than near-constant frustrating fury. I have fury. Yes, I do. I have fury. How about you? Not Nick Fury. All right. I am strange. Yes, I know. Hold on. Okay, here we go. If anything is different, ranging from sound quality to picture quality, like I said, I changed recording and... Ooh, a button. I changed recording software in the middle of what I was doing. Initiated installation procedure and started a countdown to a nuclear explosion. Move quickly. Okay. Yeah, I'm really glad I'm not doing this with all that lag. Because that... Oh, dead end. Dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end. I wish I'd used a better word. Alright. Uh, but yeah, this is not something I would have wanted to do with lag spike. Oh, son of a... This is not what something I would have wanted to do with lag spikes dragging me down every few seconds. How much... Is there a timer anywhere? How do I know how much time I have? Can I actually blow up? I don't want to blow up. I'm just guessing at this point. I've already hit a dead end once. Okay. Every direction looks the same. Eh, whiny! Whiny! Alright. Ow! Pointy! We'll be back to Darkmouth after this. Fuel rod. Place fuel rod in containment canister. Run back and hit the button again before you blow up. Oh god, I have to do it again? In reverse? Fortunately, I memorized the way. I did not want to have to repeat this. At least I think I did. I can't be absolutely certain. I'm kind of a dumb. <laughs> what way? Okay. This looks familiar. It all looks familiar. It's all pipes and tubes and... <gasps> Yay! Completed horribly unsafe fuel rod installation procedure. I am the champion. I am the champion. No time for losers. Cause I... Man, that song is vindictive. Seriously, no time for losers because we are the champions. It's kind of a dick song. Seriously. Alright. We have now fixed reactor. Damn it, now Vladdy's rubbing off on me. Alright, turn her back on. Turn her classic movies. Restarted the worst nuclear reactor in the world. Okay. Hey, I learned something really freaky about yawning recently. Sociopaths lack the empathic human-to-human -human connection that causes you to yawn when other people yawn. So Dexter would not yawn when I yawned. Of course, if I'm talking about yawning this much, you're probably yawning by now. And if you're not, you might just be a sociopath. Uh, sorry, all the talk about yawning got me all worked up, and I'm not a sociopath. Hey, that light wasn't green before. Hook room. If there are corn hookers in here, I quit. What is this stupid thing? Alright, there's a vent, but if I make Vladdy crawl through it, he'll just. 
<laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Again with the crawling? Yes. Hey, would you rather I let you go fix the reactor with your stubby little squeak legs? Yes. And climbing through stupid junk to get more stupid junk? Yes. Why do you think I put you together? This stupid garbage? This is useless. No use. No purpose. Just more garbage. Garbage for idiots. Always. <sighs> I'm sending him into every grade I find. Garbage. Of this garbage worth bloody suffering, but already know the answer. No, because it's garbage. <sighs> what stupid thing is next? You know, I may be an idiot, but I seem to have turned a knockoff bootleg Teddy Ruxpin doll into a sentient thing. Due to a communication error, this particular control console was designed to be removable from its base. <laughs> it was lost approximately approximately 60 times during the facility's operation. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, my gird. Er, my gird. Alright, well, we've placed it. I guess we actually have to turn it on. Giant metal donut! So, this is what stupid thing does? Yes! Bloody still think it garbage. You think everything's garbage. And also, the room is misleading. This is not a hook room. That is not a hook. That is a hoop. It could be something a hook hooks onto, but it's not a hoop. I need one of these! Bloody think you may have problem, idiot. You take Shut too up. much garbage. You're an idiot. Broke off its door thanks to a shoddy soldering do job done immediately after the facility Christmas party. You could probably find another door to attach it to, just not this one. What do you mean this one? There's no door here. I'm guessing they expected me to look at it right when I picked it up. But I am an iconoclast. A rebel, baby. I do as I please. All right. Oh yeah, just a little bit of lag. Way better than it was before. I was using the wrong program for recording when I started this video. That's for ding dong diddly dang sure. All right. Actually, I'm not too fond of OBS off the bat just because pudding. No, just because like when I first downloaded it and started up to test it, I was watching a YouTube video and when I when it booted up and started running, the sound went down on the YouTube video, and then when I turned it off, it went or shut it down, the sound levels went back to normal. So I don't want a recording program that muffles things. Then again, too loud is almost always my problem, so... Ooh. Second donut ring, all set up. Wait. He's not good. That does not sound good. No, it does not. Ah, son of a biscuit. Chitanya Vesilo. Why is this place so stupid? Nothing I don't know. works. Idiot American machines. <sighs> well done, idiot. Breaking it will help. Stupid. You should take that dumb piece, see if you can fix it. How about you take that dumb piece and see if you can fix it, since I'm obviously so stupid. Stupid Vladdy. Alright, new path back to the communal grotto. Alright, this is going to take me a while to get back there, because I've got, like, stairs and corridors to traverse. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, you need to figure out a way to repair this broken gear if you want to raise that giant hook to the sky. The fact you know nothing about engineering, mechanical repairs, or finding things means this will probably go very smoothly. Yes. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it here and resume in the right place. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, or subscribe. <laughs> or not. You don't have to. I'm not the boss of you. Bye-bye. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. I'm not even sure which direction the grotto is, so you're just going to miss me wandering around. <laughs>